Gauss's law helps us relate the quantity of charge inside a volume to the electric field on the surface of a volume. We can do this either with a generic charge density, as we have in this case, or with a charge, um, a, a point charge, as in this case, or more complicated situations where this would properly be a delta, with a delta function, radial de delta function. The, the point of a Gauss's law is that we use what we call a Gaussian surface. This is completely arbitrary. We could use any shape we like. All it says is that the electric field on the edges is equal to the charge. That's our charge right there inside of it. Now, a shape like this would be very complicated. We don't want to do complicated. We want to do easy. Um, like I said, the Gauss's law is always true. It isn't always useful. Now, now, the situations where it's useful, we have symmetry to help us. Symmetry is, of course, our very best friend. Uh, the cases where it's useful include uh, cases of spherical symmetry, such as a point or a sphere, in which case our Gaussian surface will be also spherical and our lines of force going through that are all coming out with a spherical symmetry. So sphericals are is what we typically use with a point or a sphere charge because we want to keep this simple. Likewise, we oftentimes do it with a line charge, in which case we, the unit of volume we want to use is a cylinder. We have a cylindrical symmetry. The lines of charge are coming out this angle. This means that when we evaluate the surface, we do not need to evaluate the sides because the, the, the electric field lines, notice we're taking the electric field dot area. This means that we only need the electric field going perpendicular to any bit of area that we're integrating over. So since the field lines are going, coming straight out from the line charge, here's our line charge right there, that these side elements are not even included. Likewise, so that is a, that's for a spherical, this is for a line charge. The third one we we'll typically deal with involves a surface charge, such as a sheet, typically an infinite sheet going off in all directions, in which case we want to, we have a surface charge with a density sigma. There are, if there are other ways to use Gaussian surfaces for easy examples, I don't know of them. And, okay, so in this case we want to do a generic, any kind of shape, is a volume. Now, just as long as we have a 
as long as it's uh, as a constant uh, area as it moves through. In area A. This enables us to find a electric field from a surface charge. This will be useful, for example, in dealing with capacitors, especially parallel plate capacitors.